What's up guys, Iovo here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own banner for free using a website called Pixlr. Now Pixlr is a free to use editor and it's very easy to use and you can make some nice banners with it. Now it's not a fully blown out software like Photoshop, but you can still get some decent banners made for free, which is what I'm going to be showing you in this video. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and go on pixlr.com slash editor and create a new image and make the image with 2560 and the height 1440 and then click the transparent checkbox and then click on OK. So this is going to be the actual banner over here and the first thing we have to do is just add a background. So the first thing we have to do is just add a background to the actual banner and what you can do is use the paint bucket tool and then double click over here and select a color and make that the background color by just clicking or you can use the gradient tool over here which is blue you can click on it, then go over here and select from a bunch of different gradients and then make that your banner as well. So for example, maybe I like, uh, let's see, maybe this blue background looks good. I can click on it and then I can hold shift, drag up like, or I can just drag up and then let go. And as you can see, the gradient goes in that direction. I could change the direction, of course, and have a background color set like that. Or I could go into Google Images and find a background from there. So for example, you can search for a grunge background and see something that's good. Maybe change the color, so maybe a blue grunge background. And find one that is larger than 2560 by 1440. So this one is larger, it is 2560 by 1600. So I'm going to click on View Image and I'm going to download the image. Now once the image is downloaded, I can go back into Pixlr, go to File, click on open image and open the image. So once you go to file open and open the image, it's going to open up in a separate document like so. And to move it over, all you have to do is press control A, control C, go back to the original document and press control V and you have it pasted. Once you have it pasted, you can close the document that had the original image and you don't have to save changes. In this case, I think the gradient looks better. So we're going to undo that and make our background the gradient. Now the next thing we have to do is go ahead and add some text. So just click on the text tool, click on the layer, and then type in your text. We are going to call our channel the best, the best channel ever. Let's just call it that. And we are going to make the font Batman Forever. So let's just find that font. There we go. We are going to ramp up the size to 80. That looks good. Now you have to remember that when it comes to making a banner, the entire banner doesn't show up on the actual YouTube page. It will on TVs and on some tablets, but on desktop, you only get a part of the banner. So just keep that in mind and don't make the text too big. So once we have the text set, we can center align it. We can change the style to make it bold or italic. Uh, we'll make it italic and then just click on OK and use the selection tool to move it in the middle. Now there is no way to center the actual text through Pixlr, so you have to just kind of eyeball it. But once you have it centered, what you can do is make sure the layer is selected and then click on this button with the mini explosion to open up the layer styles. And here you can select some layer styles to make the text look a bit better. And you have a few choices. So I'm going to add a outer glow as well as a bevel. Now what you can also do is add some more text to the actual banner by right clicking on the text layer and duplicating it. And then you can move it down and then select the text tool and type in whatever text you want. So maybe you can put subscribe for awesome videos. And then you can make the size a bit smaller like that. And then we can move it underneath like so. Now the final thing we have to do is just add some actual images to the banner if you want. So you can go ahead and go back to Google Images and you can search for maybe a controller Make sure it's a PNG, so just put PNG at the end. Uh, this looks nice. Click on view image, right click, save image as, save it as game controller. Go back into Pixlr, go to file, open image, and then we can get game controller. And we can press control A, control C, go back into the banner document and then press control V and it'll be pasted and you can just move it over to the side like so. And if you wanna resize this, all you have to do is go to edit and free transform and you can hold shift and resize it. Now the final thing you have to do is just go ahead and save the actual banner. So go to file, save and save the image and you can make the quality 100 
and then just click on OK. But that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, Pixlr is very basic and this is for beginners. If you want to make better banners that are more complex, you can use Photoshop, Paint.net, or GIMP. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo, and I'm signing out.